All right, so we're gonna add an ultrasonic or an infrared sensor to our EV3. Uh, this guy's gonna be pretty awesome. The reason we're gonna do this in the feet instead of way upstairs in the head is because the head can turn all the way around. And if the head can turn all the way around and it turns around one too many times, he strangles himself on the cables going up there and, uh, and his head pops off. So we're not gonna add the sensor to his head. Instead, we're gonna very carefully cut right along this point to right here, from right here to right here, and then from right here to right here. We're not gonna cut this right there. That doesn't get cut. We want this flap to be in there, A, because if you wanna take the ultrasonic sensor out or whatnot, the feet still look kinda nice and you can still see the feet pattern. And B, if you don't cut it completely out, the uh, bottom flap when it folds down will help hold the ultrasonic or the infrared sensor in place. So one, let's grab a ruler. It's really important that you take your time with this because if you do a really quick job and you screw it up, the feet look kind of ugly. Not that big of a deal, he is a creeper, but you know, if you can keep things nicely right off the bat, then that'll make life a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do this one first. I'm just cutting right along the edge of the grid pattern. So again, I've cut everywhere except for this bottom section right here, and now this should just pop right out. All right, so go ahead and get that top flat lowered down. Take the connector cable, connect it into port two on your EV3. Once you've got that done, go ahead and take your ultrasonic or infrared sensor, lower the flap and put the sensor part in first, heading up towards the feet, and then go ahead and just take those blue connectors and make sure that they get secured into the bottom of the EV3 brick and you're pretty much good to go. Cool. All right, let's program it. All right, so we've got our EV3 hooked up with an ultrasonic sensor. If you've got the retail version, you might be using an infrared sensor. Should be fairly similar, but we're gonna go over the ultrasonic EDU version first. So in the last step, we were getting our EV3 creeper, creeper to only go when the light value went below a certain point. We're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this entire program. Edit menu, copy, or Command C or Control C, depending on whether or not you're on a PC or a Mac. Let's go ahead, add a new program. And let's call this uh, Site Test. And go ahead and paste in program that you just copied. And we'll keep this one up here and we'll do something a little different. We're gonna use a secondary start block. If you accidentally deleted your start block, you can find it under flow control right there. So the first thing we wanna do, we want, we wanna use this ultrasonic sensor. We want it to do something different based on how close your creeper is to something. So we're gonna go and select that weight block down there in our flow control. I'm gonna set it for ultrasonic sensor. If you were using the retail version, you might wanna select infrared sensor. Compare distance centimeters. We're gonna set that to less than 25 centimeters. And port two, that looks good. We'll do something funky. We're gonna use this loop interrupt. And we'll put that right there. If you see up here, our loop block way up here, it's loop number one. This is going to interrupt that loop. So if the light value goes below 18, it'll start running this program. And this program will run four times. At the same time that that's running, this program down here is also running. And as soon as the ultrasonic sensor gets closer than 25 centimeters, it's gonna break this loop up here. So it should stop it. So let's go ahead and see if that works as intended. See, our light value is currently at 18, so if we hit play, it shouldn't do anything at all. So it started, you can see it running up here, but the light's not dark enough. So let's go ahead and turn out the lights. It starts moving. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, the centimeters is getting less and less. About 50 centimeters. Not close enough for it to see anything. that 
just got to 24.3 centimeters, so it saw that wall on the other side, and it broke the loop. So that looks like that worked out pretty well. Stopping, it's kind of cool, but it's it's not quite as neat as we could have. So let's say, you know, maybe as soon as it breaks that loop, it'll start zooming forward towards whatever it saw. We could grab that move tank block. Right, let's go for a little bit more. We'll go to 50% power on both the B and C motor. And we're going to set that to just be on. Now, if it's just set to on and this just runs, that'll end very, very quickly. It'll just stop in place. So we need to tell it to run until something, something else happens. Let's go ahead and grab this weight block again. Reselect ultrasonic sensor, distance centimeters. Let's set this to anything closer than eight centimeters. So as soon as as soon as the creeper sees something closer than 25 centimeters right here, it's going to stop what it was doing before, zoom forward really, really quick at 50% power until it gets closer than eight centimeters to something. So let's see. Let's stop the motors at that point. So we'll grab that move tank block and we're just gonna tell it turn those motors off. Let's see how this works. Program is running, but it's too light. Let's turn off the lights. Did not see the creeper. that time it zoomed forward until it saw the wall. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and load up some sound files. So in another, in another session we'll show you how to load up these sounds. But for now, go on to the tools menu, sound editor, clicking on open, and let's load up this file fuse. And we'll just go ahead and call this fuse, placing that. Let's go ahead, load up Creeper Explosion. Call that boom. Place the existing file, save that, close. So now we can go down to the action section, load up the sound files that we just loaded into the EV3 software. So we've got fuse. Excellent. We've got boom, or boom loud. I think we amplified that one a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this set up again. 